Yo, what is going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion. It is April 18th, and let's get into the gaming news today. Okay, so let's get into the first story of the day, which is Pocket Pair CEO has accused Tencent of making a Power World clone. So Pocket Pair are the people that gave us Power World, and Tencent is just like a company that has its hands in almost every single gaming company. I was looking up a list of what they own, and it's just, it's too much to even say. There's, there's so much. I mean... Uh, they have their hands in almost every company, so they, they control a lot. And the Pocket Pair CEO made a statement on Twitter, and this is going to be translated through Twitter's little thing or from Google, I guess. Uh, so it's not going to I don't think it's going to be 100 percent accurate. So don't take it with 100 percent accuracy, obviously. But uh, this is from the CEO, Takuro Mazobe. I'm so sorry if I messed it up. I'm so sorry. But uh, basically it goes on to say. Tencent is already making a Power World clone game. In China, various companies are simultaneously developing mobile clones of Power World, and the budget scale is about 10 billion yen, 10 times that of Power World. It looks like there will be a ton of Genshin quality monster or girl breeding games released next year. Amazing times. If you ask me, I feel like Pocket Pair doesn't have really anything to worry about as long as they keep pushing out good content, keep pushing out content that fans want, keep updating the game, keep supporting the game. I think they'll be good. The hype is there. The momentum is still there. Like people love what Power World and Pocket Pair are doing. It's it's good. I don't like the mindset of these guys are doing the same thing as us um, and they have more money. That seems like what the tweet is saying. But I also feel like similar things have happened. Like when you had PUBG, it was a really popular game, right? really popular battle royale game and people loved it. I think it was like number one stream game, number one play game all around. And then Fortnite came out and they're like, oh, we're going to have our battle royale mode. We're going to test it out and see how it is. And that got super popular and it is what it is now. Right. And so PUBG was like, hey, Fortnite copied us. They took our idea. They're not unique. You know, uh, he, you know, you could see the bitterness. Right. And I, I feel like that's what's going on here. The way you combat this is just Ignore it, keep pushing out good content, keep updating your game, give fans what they want, and that will sell your game just because the momentum of Power World is already here, right? So in this tweet, it seemed like he was not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say he was upset, but like he was, he was basically just like weighing it, right? So like, oh, Tencent is making their own Power World game and they're putting tens of billions of yen into it like tens of billions of uh money and we can't compete with that that's 10 times more of what we put into power world right but since power world has come out it's successful they've obviously made their money and made, i'm not gonna say they made all their money back but i'm pretty sure they made it all back and some so they can afford to keep these updates coming they can afford to work on the game um just because it was it's so popular right and then you got to think too they haven't even released this game on PlayStation. So that's like a whole nother subset of users that could possibly come into the mix. But uh, I mean, yeah, like you make a successful game or genre or whatever, people are going to jump on that. You know, that's just that's just the way it is, you know. So I think the the way to combat this or the way to have a better mindset is just like, OK, that means we got to work twice as hard. Obviously, we don't have as much money as them, but we can still get something done. Our momentum is already here, but uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope it doesn't like poison the well. If that makes sense, I hope it doesn't like stagnate progress because I feel like uh, Pub PUBG is like I, I feel like it's decent now. But he said that quote, and like I don't know, the game just kind of went downhill from there. Uh, like it fell off. People got on Fortnite, but you know, like as I, I feel like as long as Pocket Pair, Pow World, push out good content push out stuff that the fans like uh, or been asking for, keep updating the game, keep supporting the game, adding new mons or whatever, or pals, I'm sorry. Uh, like, it'll be good and people will love it and release it on other consoles and it's it's going to be a fun time. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think this game will struggle. And I think if Tencent makes a Power World clone, yeah, obviously people are going to hop on, but if your game's better, uh, people will want to play that, so... Just got to make a better game. Next story is Fallout 76 hits record player count after TV show. So we see this a lot. Um, I mean, I'm not saying breaking record numbers, but 
when you have a show and you have a game, the show makes it to where people want to go and play the game. So I don't know if you guys remember when The Witcher first came out. Well, The Witcher came out. People loved it. They went to go play the game, see how it was. You saw a, a, kind of like a resurgence of uh, players, right? And then you had the cyberpunk anime that came out on Netflix. Boom. A bunch of people started playing cyberpunk despite its you know various flaws. Obviously, by then, I think the game was fixed. But, you know, like people like releasing a show and having a game like really helps. People are like, oh, man, this like I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go play the game. You know, this is sick. So I, I think we'll see this time and time again. And every time you have a show and a game, it's just going to spark that interest to go back to the game or even new fans might be like, oh, I'm going to try the game now. So that's why you're seeing such a jump, a climb in player count from like Fallout 76, from Cyberpunk, from The Witcher. I think even uh, League of Legends had a show and that had people go to play the game. So it's just uh, that's just that's just what it is. Uh, it's been shown to work. It's been shown to drive interest to the game uh, it, time and time again. It's, that's just what happens. And you got to think, too, Fallout 76 had a really rough launch. And I was there. I was there for the launch just because I'm a Fallout guy. I really enjoyed all the Fallout games. Uh, there's not one that I really hated. Fallout 76 launched in a very rough state. So now that you have people probably playing for the first time or playing after such a long time from that first initial start, the game's gotten a lot better. Um, obviously, it's not perfect, right? But I feel like the game's gotten a lot better, and people will probably enjoy their stay in uh, 76. So it's good to hear. Um, I'm hoping they can add crossplay to it. That would be really cool. I'm on PC, but I think it'd just be cool to play with other people on other consoles. I'm happy. I think that's good. Okay, so next story, we have a PS5 Pro Specs League video taken down by Sony. So if you know the YouTuber Moore's Law is dead, he does a lot of uh, leak stuff, um, but basically he leaked the whole PlayStation 5 console specs, everything. He had it all right. And the video got taken down. So it just pretty much like all but confirms that it's probably real. Everything he said is probably true. So if they're willing to take down the video is <laughs> basically it's probably true. It's probably real. So uh you can expect whatever was said in that video, you can expect that to be real. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that the performance is not really worth if you have a PS5. If you've seen the timeline of PlayStation consoles, it's usually after three years, like three or four years, there's always a slim model or kind of like a super model, right? So with PlayStation uh, 4, I think three years or four years after you had the PS or the PS4 Pro, um, I think the PS3 after three years, you had the slim. Um, and then now we're we've already got that slim model of the PS5 or that revision. Now we're getting a PS5 Pro. So, it you know, it makes sense in that time frame. It usually always happens. I'm very excited to see the PSSR, which is PlayStation's answer to like DLSS, FSR, XESS, basically super resolution, AI uh, upscaling or whatever. And uh, it just makes games run better. I'm just curious on if games will run better on console, which is always a cool thing to have games that weren't at 60 run at 60. So um, I would like to see that. And I'm sure other people on those consoles would like to see that as well. So um, I'm excited to see what the PS5 Pro will be or what it will what the performance will look like when it finally releases. And last story of the day, which is uh, the Hades 2 technical test opens for sign up. So Hades 2, they're having a technical test. And I think it's said here that they don't know how long this technical test will be, but they said it will be longer than a week, less than a month. So uh, this is cool. Uh, the, the first Hades was really good, really great. Um, one thing that I kind of don't like is that it's releasing in early access. I don't know. I, I wish it would just like release like as a full game. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how other people feel about that. I, I wish they would just wait. I don't know if they need money or anything, but I don't know. A game like this needs to come out like fully complete. You know, I, I don't know, though. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the game coming out in early access. The technical test is good just because you can kind of get an idea of people's specs just because uh, 
at least on PC, there's so many different configs, so many different processors and different variations of systems. I feel like technical tests are good to kind of gauge that so you can get better performance on actual release date. But since it's going to be an early access, you're essentially already going to get that anyway. So I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, not a big fan of the early access. I wish it would just release uh, just a normal release, even if it's a year and a half from now or two years from now. Um, I don't think a game like this needs to release in early access, but hey, what the hell do I know? But that is all the gaming news I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Pocket Pair CEO accused Tencent of stealing Power World's ideas. We also have Fallout 76 climbing in player base after the TV show. The PS5 Pro uh, specs leaks are true and Hades 2 technical test. Let me know what you think of any one of those things. How do you feel about the PS5 Pro leaks? What do you think about the Pocket Pair CEO tweet? Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you thought the video was bad, give it two thumbs down, two thumbs down. Um, and if you could, please do leave a comment about anything, anything we can improve on, anything that you think about the video. It helps your boy out tremendously. So thank you if you made it this far into the video. My name is Logic Motion, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. See ya.